I thought it would be kind of fun to do a case study on some YouTube search engine optimization techniques. In this case study, we are going to explore what changes you make to certain metadata will have on your uh, search engine results within YouTube. Now there are a number of different videos and blog posts out there on search engine optimization for, for YouTube. And you can really narrow it down to these items that I'm displaying here on the page. You've got your on-page on optimization, the, the metadata that you have control over. And then you have really the engagement on your video, the, the number of views you get, how much people are watching the video. Are they watching 20% of it or are they watching 80% of it? And then finally, the engagement, the comments that you get, the likes that people give your video. All of that has an impact on how your, your video displays within the search results within YouTube. What we're going to do in this video is make some changes over the course of uh, two to three weeks and see what happens to uh, a video, a test video that, that we've posted. The first thing we are going to focus on is the on-page optimization, the metadata, the title, the description you give your video, and what's the optimal keyword density, the tags that you can create, the file name of your video, and finally the custom thumbnail. All those things you have direct control over. And those are the first thing that we'll focus on with publishing uh, a test video for us. Later on in the video, we'll start taking a look at what views, what additional views can do to your search result, the watch time of those views, as well as engagement you get on the video, whether it be through comments or likes. And I'll have to come up with a way where I can force views and watch time and, and come up with some, some engagement here. At the end of this video, we'll see where we started our rank within the search results, and finally where we end based on the various tweaks that we can do to these pieces of, of information and how it impacts your YouTube SEO. All right, let's get into our case study and lay out the uh, situation here. To set the stage, what I've done is I've created a dummy video that basically is nothing more than a screenshot that you can see here on the screen as well as some music associated with it and I made the thing about five and a half minutes long just to uh, ensure that it was a, a, a medium duration uh, video here and I focused on a couple of things so in the top right over here you can see the actual file name is the keyword that I'm targe targeting, WordPress plugin tutorial for beginners. So that's the first thing you want to make sure of. Second thing, come down here into the basic information. You can see that the title of my video is also my keyword, WordPress plugin tutorial for beginners. And finally, and you can't see it here, I'll, I'll go over to YouTube here in a minute. The description has that keyword in the first sentence, Word in WordPress plugin tutorial for beginners. And I actually added a bit more text here. And like I said, I'll show you that in YouTube for a minute, in a minute. And then finally, I put two, two tags here down at the bottom, um, my, my WordPress channel and this WordPress plugin tutorial for beginners as well. And I should let you know that the channel that I'm testing this on is not the channel you're viewing here. It's another channel that I have, and I'm just using that as a, a test bed of, of sorts for this case study. If we take a quick look over at YouTube here, you'll see if I look at the description, I added a little bit of text to it, not a lot. Uh, I've got my keyword here. And that is really it. I've only added it once and then I've added some other other text here. So further on, one of the next things we're going to do is we're going to play around with the keyword density. Later on 
in our case study, we're going to play around and, and try to sort out what the right keyword density and, and how much of a description you need here. Is it 50 words? Is it 300 words? We're going to play around with some things and see where, where we can optimize things at. So where did we land in the search results for this video after I initially published it? So if I come up to this and I can tell you it was indexed. I published this video about oh 24 hours ago, just over 24 hours ago. And I checked this morning and it was indeed indexed. So if we do a quick search on this and let us go, I think it was on page seven here. There it is there. So here we are in the third position on page seven. And if you do the quick math, there are 20 videos per page. We went through six full pages. That's 120, 121, 122, 123. We are in the 123rd position. And I'm not so focused with this case study of trying to get it to number one. Because uh, I know there's a lot of other variables. This channel isn't really used a whole lot by me. Uh, I don't have a lot of videos out there. It's 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 not something that a lot of people visit. So th there's certain things that are outside of my control here that will get it as high as I, I'm, I'd am i like to get it. What we're trying to understand is based on certain changes you make, what is the potential impact to your search engine ranking for this video. That's what we're focused on here. So we're going to see how high up in the chain we can get it based on certain levers that, that we pull here. So that is the result of my initial publication of the video. What we want to do now is do a quick change here. And we're, what we're planning on doing is making one change at a time and seeing how that impacts our search results. So I will track where we landed here on a spreadsheet. Uh, we'll see what the various impacts are to this video based on the changes that I make. If I go back to my creator studio here and edit my video, the first thing, the first lever that I want to try to to pull here is adding a custom thumbnail right now. I just pulled a regular old uh, thumbnail from the video. I want to add a custom thumbnail and I want that thumbnail, the file name to be, to contain my keyword that I'm targeting here. So we will see what impact that change has on our search results. So I've created a thumbnail based on this various screenshot. And I've named that thumbnail uh, a Word, WordPress plugin tutorial for beginners.png. So let's add that custom thumbnail. It's on my desktop. There it is there, WordPress plugin tutorial for beginners. Open it. And there we go. Save our changes. Set. And. We're good to go. So we'll come back in a few days. We'll ensure that Google had the opportunity to index this within YouTube and we'll see what the result of our changes. The end result of that change was not really what I expected. I thought it would have a bit of a positive impact on my search result rankings. And as you can see here, it actually impacted it somewhat um, in a negative way. It, it dropped a, a full page, almost a 20 position drop. At the end of this tutorial, I'll graph everything out so you can see what the result is for each of the changes that I've made. Now, the one caveat to that is I was away for a long weekend and I wasn't able to identify what the change was for each of the days. So I've been trying to track my changes day over day. So there was about a four day gap in there before I uh, was able to come back and, and check what the end result was of the change that I made. Uh, so I can't tell you if that degradation happened over a period of those four days or if it was instantaneous.
but the end result after four days after making that custom thumbnail change was I dropped about 18 positions in the ranking. The next change that I did was uh, I forced some views. So on that fourth day, uh, I wanted to see if adding any additional views to the video would help uh, anything with the ranking. And so I watched it a few times on this channel here. I also uh, forced some views, multiple views through an incognito window uh, just to see what would happen with the ranking by, by getting some views out there. And I, you can look at it here and I added roughly 12 to 13 views to it. Not a lot, but I was just seeing if there was a spike in, in the viewership for that video, if it would have any impact on the search result. The end result of that was another drop in the search engine rankings, another 20 plus position drop. Now I'm on the next page in the, in the search results. So getting some limited views uh, didn't seem to have any impact at all on, actually it had a negative impact on, on the search results. So we're not doing so well in regards to the changes that I've made so far. We have dropped roughly 40 positions from the time I published the video to the point that it is today. And that is roughly day five or six of uh, after publishing the video. So in the next change, I decided to tweak the description. And if we come down here to the description of the video, uh, if you don't remember, I had roughly, oh, 90 characters, I believe. Let me just expand this. I had roughly 80 words within my description, and I had the keyword within that first line. And I had a few other paragraphs here, which totaled, totaled about 80 words. So for the next change, what I decided to do was build out the description a little bit more. I added, I, I more than doubled it, so I'm about at 190 words now within my description. And what I also decided to do was add the keyword one more time within that description. So you can see I've got it up here in my first sentence, and then I also added it down here. I also decided to um, structure this paragraph around the keyword a little bit more so it the description that I ended up here kind of synced back to the keyword that I'm targeting overall this gave us a keyword density that I checked on a separate website of roughly 3.1 percent so what was the result of that it was a significant result I ended up improving my ranking by about 80 positions in the YouTube search results. Doesn't surprise me a lot because everything you read, you want to include your uh, keyword multiple times in your description. It seemed to have a significant impact. We moved up four full pages and increased our ranking by 80 positions. So uh, definitely a huge improvement with this change. In our next change, we're going to tweak this a little bit more. We'll see what adding some additional text as well as the keyword a third time, and we'll see if we can maybe lower our keyword density a little bit more and see what kind of impact that has. And I think we'll tweak this back and forth a little bit to see if there's an optimal way where we can view this. In our last change, we decided to tweak the description a little bit more. We bumped the word count up. We increased the keyword density from about 0.7 to 1.1%. So what's the result of that change? So we actually dropped a few positions over the last change. We were in the search result rankings. We were at about Oh, 89 
over the course of the last week or so, it fluctuated quite a bit with no surprise. And we ended up with this last change at position 121. So uh, I'm not sure I expected that. I, I maybe thought it would drop a little bit. I didn't think it was going to drop that much. So I think what we're going to do now is we're going to revert back to what our original text was. That's the section I added. So let's get rid of that. And that's going to put our keyword density back to just about 0.7%. And hopefully we'll see our search rankings improve back to the point of what it was before around position 8990. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to add some additional views to uh, this video here. And I will add those views through my account, through two other YouTube channels that I have. And then I will also add uh, some views through an incognito window as well as my mobile phone uh, connected to Wi-Fi as well as not. Uh, to try to mix up the IP address these views are coming from. Uh, and I may try to throw in some views via a proxy server. So right now we've got about 15 views on the channel. I'm going to at least double that, try to spread that out here, probably more than double it. Maybe we'll try to get up to, to 50 views or so, and I'll throw some likes in there from my, my other YouTube channels. And we'll see what happens with our search rankings here. So as a, a final step here, let's take a quick look at an overall graph from beginning to end on what each of those changes that we've made to our video, to the meta tags within our video, and what the, the end result of that was. So I created this quick graph here. Zero is our initial publication. And then each change is documented here along the x-axis and you can see if we dropped a ranking will trend down if we came up will trend up here so our initial publication is at zero when we added the custom thumbnail we actually dropped about 18 positions my third change was i forced some additional views which dropped us another 20 or so positions. So overall we lost 40 positions. So that was actually kind of surprising when I forced some views why that would drop here, as well as the custom thumbnail. I thought for sure that would go up a little bit. Then my third change, I added some additional, I added some additional text to the description to give me a keyword density of just about 0.7%. And that had a positive impact on the ranking. So we jumped here roughly almost 40 positions, call it 30 some odd positions. So that was a, a, a big change there for us. And then over the next three or four days here, I didn't make any changes. So what you can see is since I wasn't getting any views on this video, uh, the ranking started dropping. So we ended up losing, oh, 28, 38, maybe 20 some positions over the course of those, uh, probably like four or five days in there. And then the fourth change I made was adding some additional text to the description field, added my keyword in there again to bump my keyword density to 1.1%. Doing that had another negative impact on my search result and pretty much put me to the point of where I had initially published it. So it, it jumped a, a few positions here, but nothing, nothing major. I then removed the text, the additional text I added to get me back to a keyword density of 0.7%. And as expected, we had another jump. It actually, uh, about 41 position jump from 
where my initial publication was slightly higher than what it was back here when my keyword density was 0.7%. Not too surprising given all the different changes. So it's, it's pretty much in line with what this was. And then my last change that I, that I did, and that was just about 24 hours ago, I, I forced a number of views. I added another 30 or so views through other YouTube channels that I had, uh, through the current channel, through an incognito window, through a separate browser, through my phone, uh, connected to Wi-Fi and also not connected to Wi-Fi. So I was trying to uh, kind of spoof the IP address a little bit so it all wasn't coming from my IP address here. And that had a substantial impact to the to the search rankings. Um, jumped probably here another 50 positions or so. Uh, probably from like 41 to about oh, 85-ish. So at the end of the day, we improved our ranking by about 84, 85 positions from the time we initially published based on, I think, two key factors here. Getting the keyword density to just under 1%, in my case, 0.7. And I think the big one here, and it doesn't really surprise me, is having views and likes on your video will have a dramatic improvement to your search rankings. Interesting little exercise that I wanted to go through. Uh, I think the, the key takeaway is text and keyword density, you probably want it just under 1% uh, and you wanna make sure you get some views. Those two things alone will, will uh, help you improve your search result. So one more thing I'm going to do, and I'm gonna do this in a, a separate video, and we're gonna go a little crazy, and we are going to buy views for this video. I'm interested to see what purchasing views will do related to our search result here. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed, be sure you do that, and we'll see you in the next video.